Hey, thanks for tuning in. The Mobius 155th scale moon bus from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Something a little different. I started this last August, tinkering with it over time. Fenris models and man's model moments are also doing something related to the movie. Let's take a quick look in the box and then get into the build. Not too many parts, just what you need. Plastic quality is quite good. You get two cockpit glass options. The color guide for the bus all built up. I don't usually do this, but for this kit, I built it all up to see what goes where, what order might be best, and what fit issues might arise, since the instructions don't really instruct. It also gave me an idea of where to run the lighting wires. I think the best build of this kit is at Trekworks. If you want to see a masterpiece of this kit, go check that out. 2001 is one of those movies I've seen more than a dozen times. I went through the film sequence with the moon bus, capturing the moon bus inside and out. When you freeze the frames, there are only four seats in the back of the cabin. Floyd and Halverson are sitting in the first two. Michaels is the guy standing. If you count the windows, the first seat row in the model doesn't exist. There's more stowage where those are in the film. So those got removed. I ended up enlarging those for all the lighting wires. Drilled out for the lights. I covered them with sprue glue, but they'll be covered with stowage. After priming with Mr. Surfacer, I covered in satin black. In the end, you can barely even see the floor. After masking, I sprayed with stainless steel. I grabbed some goodies from the spare box and prepped them. I didn't use all of them. Oh. 
I masked the strips of tape that I can pull out from the outside later. That was totally unnecessary. These go between the cockpit and the crew cabin. You can't see them. I've drilled holes so the LED lights can shine through. I lost the white ropes, made my own, and then found the kit ones later. I've made the gaps so I can route the LED wires. I used red, white, blue, and yellow SMDs. Typical 3mm, 3 3-volt 3 pre-wired SMDs. You get 25 in a pack, as well as 3 different resistors in case you're using a power source greater than 3 volts. 3 volt button switches. I tested each one before I added it. 28 gauge wire is the same as that on the button switches. Basic solder and my soldering gizmo for the red lights over the pilots. I sealed them in with clear 420 nanometer UV resin. Blue ones for the cabin. I think I put a red one in there. By the way, this was my first ever lighting project, so I'm sure there may be better approaches. I ended up with two switches underneath, one for the six white lights and one for all the color ones. A mix of the colored SMDs for the displays. Those all stuffed down under the nose. And I masked the clear parts. These build up real easy. Those are the kit ropes. Once it was all buttoned up, it was primed in Mr. Surfacer 1500. I found some old PE parts for the exhausts. Then I painted them a flat tar black. You can see where I put the switches and added the thrusters. Last step was putting on some pigments.
I put the second one pretty much everywhere. That was a fun kit. I'm glad I did it. I want to thank my channel supporters. Much appreciated. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching. Be well and happy modeling.